This is a tale of herbicide drift. This is a big Dina variety grafted. And this tomato plant is doing pretty well. Hold on. Here's the fruit at the top, right there. Buds right there. This is how a big Dina should look. Down here, it's been dual uh, stemmed. Those are on the bottom. These are on the top. These are over here. Got a little bit of herbicide damage still left right here. See how this is twisted. Now let's go right across the aisle. And this is one that hasn't recovered. Most likely won't. This is what it looks like on top. And these are way better than uh, it had been. Look at these leaves. Here's one that's doing better. This is what they ought to look like on the bottom and on the top too. All of these have herbicide damage in some form. Some are better than others. Over here, BHNs. Now these, for the most part, have done better than the Big Dinas. These are grafted too. And these look pretty good, but there's still some damage on them. This house right here should have been smoking tomatoes. I mean, just throwing them out at a record clip. And it's not. And it won't. We'll get tomatoes out of it. But I swear to God, this thing ought to be absolutely full of tomatoes with great big, huge plants. I grew them last year. And this is what happens when people spray grass on. And it's a really sorry and sad thing. So I'll pull all of these out early and plant a cover crop. Probably before that, I will soak the living daylights out of this thing, trying to get some of this stuff to bleach out. But we'll see. It is uh, July the 8th. We'll check back in about uh, a couple weeks. Y'all have a great summer. And please quit spraying grass on it.